Hey, this is Archer at C4 Defense, and we're going to go ahead and do a bracket to see which ones are the top 10 gifts for gun guys under $50 on Amazon. We've already filled out the bracket ahead of time. We've, we've been working on that on the live stream. If you want to see how these live streams go, you can check out the link, and we have those every week. And what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce everybody, and we're going to get through this bracket. So here we go. Let's see. What we have, it was got the gun snob. He's going to help me out with this. Go ahead, quick. Hello, sir. Thanks hey, what's going me. on? And then we got Gizzard Gary. Hey, thanks for the invite. Yep. Uh, Glim Tech. Good evening. And then we got Obnoxious One. What, are we live? Yep. Okay, hi. And Kingpin. Evening, Sarge. Hey, what's up? And uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get in this bracket. I've already got it pulled up. And if you want to check out any of these guys, I'll have links for their channels uh, in the, I'll make some cards for them or they'll be in the link below. Uh, in the description below so you can check them out. So now is that shared? All right, here we go. I guess Tech Matt versus We the People. Uh, Tech Matt. Okay. And next is Gizzard. Tech Matt. All right, Clem Tech. Tech Matt. Obnoxious. What are our choices again? Tech Matt or we we the people holster. I'm gonna go with Tech Matt. Okay, and Tech Matt wins. There's no point in going any further. So goes on to the next round. Tech Matt. All right. Next we have a Tipton gun vice or a range bag. So we're gonna start with Gizzard this time. Range bag. All right, Glim. Mm, I'm gonna go gun vice. Okay, that's one on one. Obnoxious. Bags. Okay. And kingpin. The vice is like a like a vice you'd put a lower in or whatever, right? Uh, it's like you put a rifle in to clean it or shotgun. I'm gonna go with the with the vice. Okay. And I'm gonna go with the range bag of some nature and snob. I'm going to go with the vice. Either one would be fine, though. So what is that? Is that three to three? Three yep. three. Send it to the audience. Okay, let's see. We're going out to the crowd. Let me bring this up. And when I say go, you start voting. Go. It's vice or bag. <laughs> Snobs doesn't count because he can't spell there vice. There we go. One bag, two bags. Oh, three yeah. Three bags, four. Right, bag gun wins. vice. Bag, bag. Yeah. All right, the bag wins. Bag goes the next round. Yep. Let's see. Range. Bag. Bag. Okay. And then we'll just keep going in this counterclockwise order. The Bug Assault 2.0 versus the Hyper, the High Score Pistol Rack. And this round starts with uh, Klim. Uh, let's go with the bug assault why not okay obnoxious i'm gonna go with the pistol wreck because i can get more use out of those yeah kingpin what is it what is the pistol rack i don't understand is that like just a rack to hold your pistols or is that something yeah like yeah it's closed cell phone and it holds six pistols in your safe oh okay yeah i had a couple of those and then it's first what the uh bug assault the little you load it up with table salt and shoot flies, so you've got salt yeah. all over your house. Yeah, the bug assault gun would be more fun, <laughs> but what would be more practical would be the uh the pistol kit. So I'll go with the pistol kit thing. Okay, and I'm gonna go with the pistol rack as well. Gun snob. I'm gonna go with the bug assault, of course. Because it's a lot oh. more fun. All right, gizzard. I own them both, so this is tough, but I suggested the pistol rack, so I'm going to go with that. All right. So what is that? What's the score? Four to two. Rack. Four to two. Yep. Rack wins. Pistol rack. Pistol rack. Okay. And then next is the NC Star Sight Pusher versus the Wheeler Screwdriver Set. And let's see. I think is that Noxus starts this one. Obnoxious? No. 
Oh, Kingpin. I've got yeah. millions of different screwdrivers, so I'll go with the uh, with the uh, sight pusher. I I too am going to go with the sight pusher because that may be the best deal on this list. Snob. I'll go with the sight pusher because everybody needs one of those if you're into handguns at all. Mm-hmm. Gizzard. It's all over, sight pusher. All right. I know it would probably be a clean sweep, but we're just going to go on to the next one. So It would have been. Okay. So there's your, uh, let's see, there's your top. Uh, that's your top 12. Okay. So that's where we're at now. There's your top 12. We've got the first two eliminated, and then I'll leave the, the top 10. I guess. Now we'll go to top eight and we'll bring in two to get the top ten. We'll, we'll have two losers that could be honorable mention for the top ten. All right. Starting at the top now. And I guess this one starts with me. It's Walker Ear Pro versus Tech Matt. And I'm going to take Walker Ear Pro. They are a bargain. Um, the gun snob. Ear Pro. All right. Gizzard. Ear Pro. All right. Glim. Ear Pro. All right. That's, uh, I believe that's everybody. Um, That's four, though. I don't care. I still want my vote. Okay, vote. Every vote counts. I'm going with the Ear Pro. Okay. Kingpin? <laughs> oh. Okay. There we go. That's what I thought. Ear Pro. Ear Pro, and I'll have links to all this stuff in the description, and so we can uh, we can go right to Amazon and find these. Next, uh, let's see, it would be the Up Lula Mag Loader versus a entry level med kit. So next is uh, the gun snob. Hmm. Well, everyone needs a med kit, and everyone needs a mag loader. I don't have any experience with a SWAT T tourniquet. I don't know how great it is. And the only one, the only med kit I could find either had that or one of the cheap Chinese knockoff. No, don't go knockoff. You don't want the knockoff. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Uplula because who doesn't need an Uplula? They're I fantastic. Mean, All right, Gizzard. If you don't have the Uplula, you'll never shoot enough to need a med kit. So Uplula. All right, Glim. Uplula. Obnoxious. Uplula. Kingpin. Yeah, I'm going with the crowd. Up Lula. That Follow would be clean, that would be a, a clean sweep because I would say the same thing. They're fantastic. And they're a lot of people don't buy them for themselves, so they would definitely come in handy. All right. And then at like a a good gun belt. We found a core gun belt. There were a couple different ones. Next belt has yeah, next they hands. fit into under fifty dollar category and they really are nice. So we have any one of a couple different gun belts or a nice range bag. And like I said, I'll have links in the description. So uh, next is who starts this? Is it Gizzard? Gizzard. Gizzard. Gun belt or range bag? Gun belt. All right, Glim. Gun belt as well. Okay. Um, obnoxious. I'm going with the Hanks gun belt. Okay. Kingpin. Uh, I'm going to go with the gun belt. And I, too, will go with the gun belt. And Snob? Well, I was going to go with the gun belt, but it doesn't even matter what I go with. No, it doesn't. So I'm glad you know. Next, we have the Allen cleaning kit versus a through night TC-15. And that is a how many lumen flashlight? Did you say, Obnoxious? The through night? 2,300. Yeah. 2,300 lumens. So it's Burn all the your lumens. eyeballs. It's all the lumens. So, uh, Glim. That would be flashlight. Can never have enough. All right, flashlight. Obnoxious. Well, I reckon I ended the flashlight. So I don't know what was the other one. The Allen cleaning kit. Oh, flashlight. I was Didn't you reckon in that too? Yeah, but yeah, but I'm a I'm a flashlight. Um, somebody that stands on a street corner and performs stuff for money. All right, Kingpin. Well, I'm not a big fan of the flashlights, but if I'm going to be practical as far as the bracket goes, I'll have to pick the flashlight because I'm sure 
most people like the flashlight stuff. I'm just not into them. But, uh, I'm going to vote for the flashlight. He lives somewhere where it's daylight 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like flashlights. It's a sparkling well. personality. <laughs> I like flashlights too. A little bit too much. Both of them. You know. Gun snob. Well, flashlight, of course, because hey, everybody always gets gun cleaning stuff for Christmas. That's an old oh. gift. Flashlights are the cool thing now. Gizzard and Glim. I have tons of lights laying around my house, but I would not be upset unwrapping another one. So give me the light. I was, I was first. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. the, but the light. All right. So it moves on. And next up here in the corner, we have a, a an ear pro case or the NC star sight pusher hard ear pro case or a sight pusher. And I think uh, obnoxious. Uh, sight pusher. Oh yeah. Kingpin. Sight pusher. Me, sight pusher, snob. Pusher. Gary. Definitely pusher. All right. And Glim. Does it matter? But I was going to go with the no. case. No, it doesn't. Sorry. All right. As a matter of fact, I just mounted mine at my bench today. Uh, let's see. We have a an HQ issue case and an Olight SR baton. H two issue HQ issue hard case for a pistol for a handgun or an Olight S S T R baton. Um, uh, that's for six handguns. Oh, it holds six. Oh, even better. Yeah. So I think Kingpin, I think you're first on this one. Okay, well, when you say baton, are we talking about like baton or is that just the name of another flashlight? That's the name of another flashlight. And then the other thing is what again? A six pistol hard case. I'll go with the hard case. All right. And I would go with the Olight baton flashlight. So, snub. Uh, the Olight, because hard cases just take up tons of room. And yeah. mm -hmm. then they're hard to wrap, stuff like that. A little flashlight, you can just throw it in a gift bag and be done. Yep. Gizzard. Olight. Glim. Old light for the stocking stuffer. And obnoxious. I'm going with the hard case. Oh, I think it was old light, wasn't it? Yep, mm. four to two. You out. <sighs> All right. It's and a nice hard Rock case, Junior pist uh, Rock Junior gun rest versus the high score pistol rack. So that would be who started that one? Obnoxious. So the kingpin? No, kingpin started that one. Yeah, I started. Okay, so I got a pick, uh, and that is the Rock Junior rest. I don't really know what that is. I would probably take the pistol rack. All right, that's what I'm taking. Snob. Uh, hmm. I'm going with the bug assault 2.0. All right, your your question, your vote doesn't count. <laughs> I'll give my vote to kingpin. Okay. I don't Gizzard. have a dog in this fight. Gizzard. Right. Gun rack. So that's two for the rack. Clem. What was the other thing? Was that a uh, like a ransom rest? Something like that. Yeah, if it's a ransom rest, I'm going to go with the rest. Okay. Obnoxious. So I'm going to go with pistol rack. So what is that? Three to one rack so far. Okay. Kingpin, you got two votes. Uh, both of my votes are going to go for pistol rack because I disapprove of the uh, pistol rests. Okay. So what's the score? Five to one. There we go. And that is the. We'll have to we'll have to come back to that one because I'd like to hear the uh, the reasoning behind the uh, disapproval for a pistol rest. Oh, it's, it's mostly uh, just make believe because I was just going to talk trash about people that use them for no good reason. I'm not really curious about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now, last, we have a Cardini holster, leather holster, or some real Avid tools, or real Avid. I don't know how you'd say it. Avid. 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 Anyway, who's who's first? Me. Cardini right. leather, because it's a really nice holster. Really well made. All right. Kizzard. Holster. Glim. Oh, got to be a holster. 
obnoxious. Is it a DeSantis nemesis pie no. poster? Oh, then I'm going with the other one. The tools? Mm-hmm. Okay. Kingpin. Uh, I'm sorry. What is it? What are the choices again? Cardini uh, leather holster or some real avid tools, which are just some some different gun tool, tools for taking apart different weapons. Cleaning tools and stuff like that. I'll probably go with the holster then on this one. All right. I'm going with the holster as well. So You're all dead to me. Cardini holster. Okay. All right, now do we want to pick two that got eliminated to make out our top ten? Oh. Nope, they couldn't, ha- they couldn't hack it. Bug assault. The bug it. assault. I think the bug assault is seriously a good one because if the gun guy literally has everything, you all can right, get bug that. assault. What else that lost? Then you he needs salt all over his house. It doesn't put out that much salt. How about uh, what's the other one? The bug assault and what else? I think the med kit. Yeah. I sent did you get the link to that med kit? I will the one look I found, at it. I I'll send it to you. I just don't send it to my phone. <laughs> I'm just uh, sending it to your phone then. Bug assault and med kit. That'll make out your top ten and it's so it's ear pro, up Lula, a good gun belt, a through night TC fifteen flashlight, a Cardini leather holster, a high score uh, pistol rack. An Olight S- STR baton. Let me put that in there. STR baton flashlight and the NC Star sight pusher. Those are your top ten best gun gifts or, or gifts for gun guys under fifty dollars on Amazon. Now, if you want to stick around and see who wins, we're going to finish this out. So, who is next in the list? I think Gizzard goes first. All right, Gizzard goes first. All right, Ear Pro, Walker Ear Pro, or an Uplolo. Hmm. Ear pro. Okay. Clem. Ah, it's a tough one, but I got to go with the Uplula. Okay. Obnoxious. Gizzard is completely wrong. So what is that? Uplula? Yep. All right. Kingpin. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the mag thing. Uh, the mag loader. All right, I'm going with the Ear Pro, Walker Ear Pro, and Snob. Well, those are both excellent gift ideas. And even though I have both of those, I would gladly take more of either. But I'm going to go with Ear Pro because that encourages you to bring more people to the range if you already have tons of Ear Pro and you have another one. Absolutely. And not everybody will spend the extra money on themselves. Yeah, even at, I'm, that's one thing for years I went with just regular standard ear pro not electronic and once you move to electronic they're amazing yep you don't yep. go back all right so this going goes out to the crowd so go ahead and vote ear pro or up Lula. go stop typing in boxes <laughs> ah rich ear pro So far, Rich has the only bit. Oh, there's the wife. Two ear pros. Oh, no, oh, 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 it's getting interesting. See, you're going to take all these people to the range, and you're going to have an ear pro for them, and you're going to bust your thumbs trying to load their magazines for them. Yeah, ear exactly. Pro. Because, see, everybody took and then stops his advice put- before when he got all those uh, other ear pro, mm-hmm. even though it wasn't electronic, so I have all mm-hmm. kinds of extra ear pro. Yep. Nobody's going to want to go to the range because they got to load their own magazines. All right, so go ahead and vote. By hand. No action cost You're not right. winning them over there, Biden. Let's go. I wish somebody would do a super what? chat right about now. I, wish I don't need your uh, vote. I guess that's it. I guess it's three to one. Three to one. What, you want to do some push-ups? Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, uh, okay, so Ear Pro moves on. Ear Pro want to do some push-ups. Dude, you're pushing 80 years old. <laughs> All right. Who's first on the list? No. Or who's next on the list? I think I, I think I am. I think Gizzard was just up. Okay. Now, is it a nice gun belt or a through night? Glim. 
Yeah, flashlight. There you go. I thought you were going to go ahead and go since you knew you were first. Sorry. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I didn't hear me the first time. No. Okay. Yeah, sure. flashlight. It's because your internet sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His does. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to flashlight. All right. And then Kingpin. It's flashlight versus what? First is a nice gun belt. A gun belt. I, too, am going to go with the gun belt. Snob. Well, I'm going to go with a gun belt, specifically the next belt, because you don't even have to know their size. You just buy the belt and then cut it with a pair of cutters and put the little end on it. And Shell. It's yeah, I didn't get it for free. I paid full price for it, but I love the thing. I own two of them. Okay. And, yeah, so do I. That's the reason why I'm going with this flashlight. <laughs> well, I'm saying, you no, know, a lot of people don't realize how important a gun belt is when you're carrying a uh -huh. gun. If you just carry it with a regular belt, it's night and day difference. Mm -hmm. You're 100% right. And Gizzard. I bought a lot of lights for about my first belt, but the belt is definitely something I would never part with. So the belt. So I guess I, without counting, I guess the, the gun belt one. Four to two. Okay. And now a Cardini leather holster versus a high score pistol rack. So that would be obnoxious. Mm. Holster. All right, Kingpin. This is the Cardini leather holster thing. Mm -hmm. and the pistol rack. Uh, let's go with the holster this time. Yeah, I'm going with the Cardini leather holster as well. Snob. Holster, of course. It's a nice holster. Gizzard. Holster. Glenn. It's a sweep. Boom. Cardini holster. This is going to be fun when I put the video together because I'll have pictures of everything people can look at them and see. Uh, now we have the Olight STR baton versus the NC Star Sight Pusher. This one probably going to go to the finals. One of these two. NC Star Sight Pusher versus Olight STR baton flashlight. So um starts off with Kingpin, I think. Is that right? Uh, sight Pusher. All right, I too am going with the sight pusher. Snob? Well, that's a tough one. Because if your gun guy happens to be not one that's willing to do anything to his own gun, then the sight pusher is pointless. But if he likes to tinker, it's definitely the sight pusher. But I'm going to go with the sight pusher because, man, that is so easy to change sights on a Glock or anything with pushing pressed in sights. All right. So, so kiss it. I bought one. I didn't know how useful it'd be until I actually used it, and it, man, it makes it makes it so easy. Sight pusher. Glim. As much as I like flashlights, I like tools better. Pusher. All right, and I guess do we have to ask obnoxious? I guess we can. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Whatever. Just you know, pick whatever you guys want. I don't care. Just pick. No. You can't make me. You're not even my real dad. <laughs> All right. NC Star. All right. So there's your top four. Walker Ear Pro versus uh, probably a next gun belt. Cardinian Leather Holster, NC Star. You cannot go wrong with no, any of these four right here. Those are all good. Any gun yeah, guy. I'll take them all. Any gun guy would be happy with any of these, so. We're, there's no losers here in this one. So, but that being said, we're going to start off with ear pro versus the gun belt ear pro versus gun belt. And I think I start this one as much as I like those Walker ear pro. I think I would rather have a, a very nice gun belt. So I'm going with the, with the next gun belt. So, uh, snob. Well, you see, it's like this. The walkers are super nice, but the gun belt, you can get use of even if you don't carry a gun all the time. That's a very nice leather belt just to have as a belt. Even if you work at a job where you can't carry, you can still get use out of that belt every single day. So I'm going with the belt. And on top of that, if you're at some anti-gun yeah. family Christmas gift you going to exchange, again? 
What? You going through puberty puberty again? Why is my internet screwing up or what? No, your voice cracked. And man, what me and I, I think I'm beyond that. All I'm right. Not. But you like like you said, it's a nice belt. It'll come in handy whether you're a gun guy or not, even if you're not carrying that day. So all right, Gizzard. I wear mine to work every day where I can't carry. I still it's the best belt I've ever owned. Gun belt. All right, Glim. Gun belt as well. I mean, if it'll hold my drawers up, everybody needs one. And obnoxious. Uh, gun belt and ear pro. I got all kinds of ear pro because Snob forced me into buying buying them from that one company. So yep, exactly. I'm gonna go with the gun belt. Even though I right. didn't get, even though I didn't get electronic, and now he's telling me I need electronic. He said uh -huh. buy these uh -huh. because they're an awesome company. They are an awesome company. So, they did pro so, for show, by the way. So I and bought a bunch of those. High school like eight, FFA team. I yeah, bought like eighteen what. pairs of those, and now I find out that those are obsolete because I should have gotten the electronic. Oh ones. no, they're not obsolete. No, those no. pro for shows work nice. very well, especially nope, out on the. Nope, on the, they're totally uh, obsolete. On a totally deck. obsolete. Now there's electronic earmuffs out there, so. Those are obsolete. <laughs> All right. Kingpin. Yeah, we're going to go with the belt. Okay. So it's belt. Yep. I really don't even know what Obnoxious voted. I don't <laughs> think he did. He talked in a circle. I, I got lost. <laughs> he went full politician on that one. All right. There's your, uh, there's one of your finalists. And who starts this round? Snob? Snobby. All right, so it is the NC Star Sight Pusher versus the Cardini Leather Holster of your choice. Hmm. Sight Pusher versus Holster. That's tough. Now, if you have a gun guy that likes to tinker with stuff, definitely the Sight Pusher. But if you know what your gun guy carries as his barbecue gun, definitely the Leather Holster. I kind of think about, you got to think, is this a person that... What, have they not bought one of these two items for themselves? You know, what have they, they've held back on? I'm going to go with the sight pusher just because everybody has a jillion holsters and likes their own preference of holsters. And that stinking sight pusher is a godsend and the best thing in the world for the price. You can't beat it for that price at all. Mm -hmm. All right. Gizzard. Gotta have the sight pusher. Glenn. Although Rich made a good point. The Cardini holster versus a gun belt would have been great. Well, yeah, sorry. I, I, again, I I like the holsters, but hey, what we'll gotta do? go with the tool. So go ahead. G Gizzard went with what? Sight pusher? Yep. Glim. Going with the tool. All right. Obnoxious. Sight pusher. King. Yes, sight pusher, please. And I'm going sight pusher. That's a clean sweep. And NC star. Okay. Uh, who is first on this time? Is it Gizzard? Yeah, it's me. All right. Gun belt versus NC star for all the marbles here. NC star. All right. Sight pusher. So, uh, Glim. Again, got to be the tool. Yep. Obnoxious. Gun belt. Okay. Kingpin. We're going to go sight pusher. And I'm going with the sight pusher. And snob. Well, I was going to go with the gun belt just because everybody. You still can. Well, I am. Everybody can use a gun belt, male or female, no matter what, which they can both use the NC Star. Nope. But nope. But, you, you sexist decided to go with the tool. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we had a winner. The gun belt was clearly the better choice there. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, as far as we can figure out here from Gun Channels, Trigger Plus P, everybody on the panel, the NC Star is the number one best gift for under fifty dollars on Amazon. And like I said, I'm going to have a link in the description below for all the top ten and really the top twenty. But we're going to label the top ten. So I appreciate everybody stopping by. Remember to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see you on the range. Give them the bird. Say your hat. Say your taglines. Hashtag Perky Pickin'. Have a good night, everybody. Eat beef and put it on a credit card. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then no cue, the little, cue the little ending thing, and we're back to the regular show. Okay.